this. This point is so sharp. Take out an eyeball. These are from the pit of hell. The sandal, everybody loves to hate. I, I want to cuss them out, but they are badass. Today guys, hello, welcome to my channel. We're gonna get into shoes, glorious shoes. I'm going to try on every single pair of shoes that I have here in my shoe collection. And I'll be honest with you, I feel like I have come a long way. This has been a process and I have worked on finding shoes that make my feet look cute, okay? For those of you who don't know, I've always had a complex about my feet. They are very long, they've been referred to as boats, as waders, as poles or anything because they are particularly long for my height. I am a size 41 and 42 sometimes um, and I'm five foot four and I've always had a thing about shoes and I was never able to wear any of the trends or anything like that because my feet were just too big but i've learned how to make it work for myself and i'm going to go through everything that i've got here from designer to high street i've got it all from sneakers to boots i'm just going to try on everything this video is probably going to be long that's fine get comfortable and i'll tell you what i love loathe about the shoes that are in my entire collection so let's get into this so this pair here my first ever christian louboutins as you can see they have the round toe of course the red bottoms and these are the platform style i'll be honest with you i never ever ever wear these louboutins they're not the coolest style anymore but they were my first ever pair they were never comfortable i'm not going to sit here and tell you that they're comfortable but this is my version back in the day of a nude shoe but they're really not nude we're going to just call them off pink my next pair a see-through mesh louboutin with a suede at the back and actually these are my most comfortable pair because they've got a little bit of room and stretch for the toe to breathe this pair here was so fun. These were my birthday shoes. I remember buying them and these I absolutely love. They're kind of a gold and silver, which to me is actually very neutral. They, they weren't comfortable to wear. I can't lie, they were awful to wear. And as you can see here, the heel has completely damaged. And this happens a lot to Louboutins and I really don't like them for the fact that they do this. It's very difficult to get those replaced at all. But these are still a cute pair. When I'm being ghetto fabulous, I'll still wear these. So this pair here, I used to absolutely love. This kind of gives me a little bit of a rock chick vibe, a little bit of va va boom, they're a little bit extra. But I like the way that the front is rounded because it gives me a little extra toe coverage. So another designer pair I have are these Jimmy Choo's. They can be a little bit grandma, but I love them. The sparkles are fantastic. These are Jimmy Choo. Although it looks like it has got Christian Dior on the side, these are the most comfortable heel ever because as you see, the heel is a bit more spread out. A heel like this will save your shins from hell. Ensure that the back foot is not dry and crispy. Moisturize those heels. Okay. This pair here, oh, 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 it's been a while. This pair here, Jimmy Choo, again, giving you foil realness, but also comfort. I don't have that many silver shoes. I feel like I'm more of a gold shoe person, but I saw these and I love the style of them. Um, I haven't worn them in such a long time. I really need to put these on. What am I doing? What am I doing? I am a fan of these. Now here we have my first an only pair of Milano's, ooh, giving you Carrie Bradshaw sex in the city. This pair I really liked. I felt like it suited my foot skin tone. I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone, but I felt like it was like a silvery, goldy, bronzy that looked good on my feet and very, very sturdy and well made. The heel does not damage the way the Christian Louboutin heels damage as well. I like these. The sandal, everybody loves to hate, including my mum. My mum walked into my room, she saw these, and can I tell you, she actually laughed at them. She actually did a cackle. Like, mum, why are you cackling at my shoe? She hates these shoes. I still love them. <laughs> I mean, the more and more, I don't, I don't know now. Now they're an I don't know. Are they comfortable? Yes. Are they a statement? Yes. Would I wear them during the summer? Yes. And here we have my trendy Bottegas that I bought last year and will keep wearing spring, summer after spring, summer. 
This is one of my most underrated shoe. It's only had one wear. It's from a brand called LV. You need, to, you need to see it like leg wise. You need to see leg. I saw this shoe and it was giving me extra. It was giving me style. It was giving me something that was like, this is different. It's super comfortable and I just love the style of this shoe. It's very unique and I'm here for it. Not that comfortable, but you know, beauty is pain. These Saint Laurent shoes are from the pit of hell. They hurt so badly. I cannot even lie to you. So here we have the barely there Saint Laurent sandal. And I'll keep it real with you. This shoe, you call it barely there. I know it's there because it feels like there are daggers clawing into my foot. As simple and as basic as this shoe is, I have, I don't understand why this shoe hurts so much. So, so painful. This little piece right here, it, it's murder. You wear it and you're like, oh my God, I look so cute, so elegant, jeans, dresses, whatever, cute. And then within an hour, you're like, why would I put myself through this torture? To be honest, this shoe is badass. I mean, I don't care, I love this shoe, but it is a bit of a spear. It's a spear, it's the Balenciagas, and they're almost, they are a kitten. They're just, they're just about a kitten, but I feel like they bang, I feel like they pop, I think they're really attractive. And on girls with really small feet, I feel like these are such a winner. I still love them on me, but I understand that it's extending my very long foot. It's making the spear go extra speary. I do not care, these are beautiful. Look at this, this point is so sharp. Take out an eyeball. Oh my gosh. I love, love, love these boots. These are Malone Soulier. I am in love. The color, the lace up, everything about these. I've had these for about three to four years. They get worn so consistently and look good with everything. Is that red wine? <laughs> I feel like I've got red wine on my, no, it's red wine. Here are what these Malone Souliers look like. They're just the most flattering shoe boot ever. I love the detail of the lace up. They're just, they're just so good. They're such a good shoe. And I'm so glad I got this colorway. I feel like it looks great on my feet. Oh, dresses, skirts, everything. So these are some black pumps, little black pumps. Love them, easy to wear all the time. I love this little side heel detail. Remember, heel should never be dry and crackled. Get a pedicure if you need it. Um, great pair of shoes just to wear. They look a little bit corporate, but I feel like there's always a time and a place for a shoe like this. So yeah, you can't go wrong with these. And they're decently comfortable. This shoe here is one of my favorite extra team too much fun shoe of all time. Aquazora killed it with this shoe. Now I love that a shoe that I can bring out and have fun with, wear the most boring outfit, but the shoe says, hello, I have arrived. And what I love again, it's an open toe shoe that doesn't show a lot of toe. Honestly, ah, these are so my flavor. Look at them, they're so fun. If I could dance, I'd wear these dancing. So let's move into the Chanel category. I've got a few. Again, people love or hate these. When I've posted them on like social media, I've been told that I look like a grandma, why are you wearing those shoes? But these are a classic, you know. I love these. And I feel like shoes like this, because they have this low heel, which is kind of like a kitten heel, that it can make my feet look a little extra long. Again, size 41 here, 41 and a half sometimes, people. But I still really like these. I really wanted these. These are a classic pair of Chanel's that every other girl is able to get away with wearing. So why can't I? So these are another pair of boots from Chanel. They are a round toe, low heel boot. And I'll be very honest with you, I really didn't wear these a lot. I think I've only ever worn them twice. I felt like my feet look really big in these. That is why, like from the side, I never wore them. I also have skinny ankles and I felt like it just had too much room for the size of my ankle. And I don't love a round toe, so these haven't got a lot of wear. I'm probably gonna end up selling them, but I do love the low-key Chanel 
on the side right here. Love, love, love these Chanel trainers. I said I like understated, but these clearly aren't the most understated. I usually wear these to the airport or when I'm traveling. Um, I love, love these. So ridiculously comfortable. And actually I'll say this about all my Chanel shoes very comfortable okay let's talk about the ugly chunky shoe this is so surprising that i could wear these and that i like these these are the i think these are the balenciaga the track um chunky shoes this is the slightly newer style the other balenciaga chunky shoe i bought i looked a hot mess i remember buying trainers and feeling like i look really cute and really cool in them I remember like someone laughing at my shoe saying why do your feet look so long oh but for some reason, I really felt like these are quite flattering and I felt like they look good on me. Yes, they're chunky. Yes, my feet are, are big. I don't care. I love these shoes. So comfortable, can be worn every day, all the time. I'm such a fan of these. They're insanely good. My friend had these on and I was like, they look so good on you. You've got such small feet. They look so good. But like afterwards, she was like, no, they're so worth it. And I ended up getting them and I was like, no, these are for me. I love right here, you can see my shoe size, size 41, loud and proud. Pew, there you have it. Okay, so these are the Alexander McQueens. Um, I got these in the black and white. These are quite a boyish color, but I really like these. I found that the white, again, gave me big foot energy, but these, I think they looked really, really good. I was very much surprised at how flattering they were on me and I've worn them a lot and they're really sturdy and really nice. I love the white sole versus the black. It's a little bit different and I feel like it's actually slightly more wearable. And I've got a lot of white trainers, so this is a great alternative. We have the Yeezy 350. Yeezy, Yeezy, Yeezy. Why I hate buying trendy shoes, because as soon as you buy one trendy shoe, there's another trendy shoe. Um, Yeezys, like these 350s are super, super popular. Now there are the other ones are a bit more popular. I am not buying into it. I'm happy with these. I wear them quite regularly. I can't lie, they're extremely, extremely comfortable. I wish I had the all blacks, I do not. Um, but I will stick to this kind of white off gray situation i love this pair i bought another one that i do regret so this is like the gray zebra -y, um colorway i don't love it why is there an orange here i'm confused i actually wear these to the gym what i will say again they are comfortable i wear these more like a run around trainer and yeah they're not my favorite in terms of look but i do put them on quite consistently because they are comfortable Okay, so here we have my last designer pair of shoes. These are my Fendi boots. Again, does my feet look long in these? I don't care. I really like these. And I love the fact that it's got the Fendi all around it like this. And I'm so in love. So, so, so in love. They give me military vibes, but also fashion. The Hermes, the Hermes grandma sandals. You gotta love them. Every single vacation they come with me point blank period i <laughs> i love these they're comfortable i know they do give you auntie but you know what they also give you sunny and saint tropez i'm not mad at these they're, they're a vibe so these are my nikes these are my vapor max air i believe these are rudely comfortable so rude so comfortable I, if I could live in a trainer, this would be the trainer. I am in love, love with these. From how they look, from how they feel, how I feel when I wear them. This might be the, no, this is the favorite shoe in my collection. So these are the most extra trainers in my collection. Are you crazy? What are these? What are those? I'm so in love. I'm not the most daring in the shoe department, but I felt like I love these. Mike has a similar pair and so does my baby, my little girl Gracie. And we all be, wore these on vacation and I just love that we had like matching sneakers. Here are my Air Force Ones, yes. Honestly, as of before last year, I would not wear a chunky shoe. I love these, I think these are great. They can be worn with everything. These are a classic and again, very, very comfortable. The Pumas, these are my Pumas are SXs. I love the colorway, this kind of gray and beige and I don't wear these often and I don't know why because they're really nice. They're really, 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 really nice. I should wear these more. They're comfortable and I actually think they're really flattering on my feet. Adidas gazelles in like a peachy pink, a Tennessee shoe. I'll be real with you. 
I never ever wear these. I don't know why I don't wear these. They're not a bad shoe. These are also another pair of Adidas's. I can't remember what their style is called. I'll be honest with you, very uncomfortable. But you know, you win some, you lose some. These haven't been worn. These are the Adidas collaboration with Beyonce or Ivy Park. Even with the tag still swinging. Haven't worn these yet, but I decided to of course keep this pair. And I feel like they'll definitely be wearable. The question is when, I don't know. But I, I do like these, I do like these. A bit bright. These are my fakes, Amina Muwadis. These are copies from Ego Official. And I cannot lie to you, I have worn these shoes every day, every day, every single day. And they're a great copy. And I don't know if you guys have seen the Amina Muwadi shoes were basically the number one search shoe like in 2019, very popular, very practical, and a lot of people have copied them. I have not been able to get my hands on a real pair just yet, so I can't lie, I picked up these, and I can never be mad at them. This trumpet-esque heel is the best thing ever created. I wish every shoe I had was like this. Remember back in the day I used to hate clear heels? Not any more. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh. This shoe is here to give us holographic realness and angles. Another ASOS heel right here. I like the fact that this is any color you want it to be because it's got that holographic effect. And again, I love the fact that it's got this kind of wide heel again. Very comfortable. Okay, so these, I'll be honest with you, these are a bad buy. These are from Office. I don't like the shape of this shoe. I feel like I look like a duck when I wear these shoes. You're gonna notice a bit of a trend in my wardrobe. You're gonna notice black boots. Not every black boot is made the same. So you'll see how there's just different nuances about a black boot that make all the difference to me. One of my most arts or black boot, this is from Zara. I love these zip up tight at the ankle black boots. I think these make me look sexy to the guard. Love how these boots look and make me feel. These here, these are like a biker black boot. They're like a lace up, but not really a lace up. Love how edgy they look. Keep my feet warm, wear them all winter. Oh, oh. These are actually a new pair of the Sock S black boot. Just bought these on ASOS. I'm telling you, not every black boot is made the same. This, even though it has a smaller heel, fit like a dream, especially around the ankle. We have no bagging. Your girl looks put together. I've had these for like three years. They're originally from Misguided. They're the classic sock boot. What I love about these is how high they go up on my leg. And I feel like they make my legs look really sexy and put together. And I wear them with everything. And see, a black boot doesn't have to be boring. Look at this, crystallized. Damontesized, beadized. These are from Topshop. These are a really great pair. Some I don't wear them a lot because I do think they are a little bit OTT, but sometimes if your outfit is dry, put on some shiny shoes. I get a lot of compliments when I wear these and they're very comfortable and easy to walk around with every day. I bought these boots <laughs> and I don't know if I feel like I'm wearing a space suit or I look like I'm from the 60s. I just don't know. These are from Zara and they have never been worn. I just don't know where and how I'm gonna wear these. I just haven't worked it out yet. Maybe one day, but they're really comfortable and I do think they're flattering. I just need to be able to wear them. So this snakeskin, fabulous pair. These are from Ego and they're a very weird shape because I can barely take a stride and bend at my calf. It just feels very weird. These are not comfortable. These never get worn, but I do think they are a nice boot. This pair here, wow. I really thought I was doing fashion in this pair here. If there was ever a space alien shoe, this is the one. I bought this pair from Revolve. It's been worn actually quite a few times. I kind of like the vibe, they're a bit different. I bought these for one and one reason only. I bought these for Coachella. These are like a festival cowboy boot. I do not wear cowboy in my everyday life. Well, how am I gonna wear these to a festival when they are suede? Patricia, no. This pair of shoes have got me through so, so, so much. Honestly, game changers, ankle givers, life bringing. 
sexy, barely there, affordable, fabulous. These are from um, Misguided, I believe. And I've worn them over and over again and I bring them on every vacation with me. They're the kind of heel that go with everything. People, it's a clear heel. It's a clear heel, but I'm not mad. I picked these up recently on ASOS. I believe they're part of like the Emily Shap um, collaboration. And I think they're fabulous. I love what it's doing at the ankle. And I don't always love a clear heel, you guys know that, but there's something about them that makes them go with so many outfits that I can't be mad at. This is a great pair. I don't know what kind of shoe this is. I've had these for a really long time. I used to really love the detailing around the ankle. I'm not really sure that these are my style anymore. You don't want to be the person with the toes touch the floor. No, this is not good. <laughs> favorite pair of shoe of mine so comfortable really flattering love the color i wear these more like in the summer like every day like this is what i'd slip on to like get on the train to walk around london they're not the most attractive shoe but i know what difference they make to my life so i'm going to keep wearing these i love a good beach wedge gives you sexy but it also gives you comfort it looks great with like a sarong or like a beachy dress or that kind of thing love 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 this pair from azos these are a copy of the alexander mcqueen's i wear them quite consistently and they kind of also remind me of my new batons that also have the same mesh effect they're a nice pair to wear with jeans oh these are like a nude shoe without being a nude there's just something about the colors on these and i've had these for years but i'm telling you now they're so I feel like they're so timeless. And also, can you see how it's not like a proper pump that covers your whole foot? Your heel's kind of out as well. And I'm kind of living for that. Kind of living. Oh, I love it. This sandal makes it out to mine every vacation. You cannot go wrong with like a T-bar sandal. Comfortable, easy to wear with shorts or dresses. Love this pair. <laughs> These are definitely worse for wear. They have been literally free jungles. Switched up my outfit because I'm going to finally go in and show you all my boots. I've got not that many of them actually in hindsight, but you need to see the whole leg. So yeah, I feel like I have a thing for like brown suede boots. They're again giving me cowboy. I do not wear these often, but I do know that when spring summer hits that I would definitely be wearing these. Yes, I have darker knees, a little bit of foundation, little makeup, body makeup is fine on them, but to be honest, I don't really mind. I do sometimes feel like when I wear boots this height, it kind of shows them a little bit more, but you know what, I'm not mad. I like these, these are really, really comfortable. I love wearing these with like an oversized sweater dress. This pair here are a uh, favorite, giving me Chanel, giving me double toe. I've had these for like three years, and I swear, I saw someone else wearing them. She told me where she got them from. I literally got them the same day, like online. They are very Chanel without being Chanel. And as you'll see, like the tip of the shoe is patent, but the rest is like this slinky leather. I always feel very sexy when I wear these, and I find that I can wear them all year round. This pair here, a new pair, bought them on sale. I love these because they just come over my knee, but only just. And I feel like it's so, so flattering on me. The shape is fantastic. I haven't really given these enough energy yet, but I know I will. These are so lovely. Right, these, you need a degree to get on. These could be registered as a weapon of mass destruction. I'll just show you that these go all the way up. Do you know what? What? As I'm wearing these, I'm, I want to cuss them out, but they are badass. They are badass. This is a great shoe, people. So here we have the Balenciaga sock, shoe, boot, thingamabob. I think that these are just beautiful. Yes, they have the spear point situation going on, but the fact that they go all the way up to the thigh, supporting the bum, is what makes them very special. And I think from a shoe perspective, it just looks really seamless, which I just think is so creative. Let's not lie and pretend they're practical. No, they're not. But are they fashion? And are they fabulous? And are they feminine? 
they really are oh my gosh i would love them here are my final pair that i can be bothered to try on these are my flat suede boots these are actually a copy of my Stuart Wiseman boots. Um, I picked these up on ASOS and I love a flat suede boot that I can wear every single day. It's cold, it's rainy, but shoes like this keep me nice and warm. I've actually got the actual Stuart Wiseman boots as well, but I can't be bothered to put them up. But these are basically an exact dupe of them. So if I put these on, you get an idea of what the Stuart Wiseman looks like. My back hurts. I've got some corns and some bunions right now. My feet hurt, but I've tried on every single shoe that I own. I don't know what that tailored up to. Let me know if you have more or less shoes. If there is a favorite shoe that you have, is there a shoe that you wish you have? Let me know in the comments. I'm exhausted from trying on shoes. Wow, first world problem. But yeah, no, I appreciate every one of them and it's worthwhile me trying these on so I know what I've got and what I don't have. And to be honest, I've got enough. I'm good, I'm good for a while. My new rule is one in, one out. So yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye.